guys i've just woke up it's friday the 5th of may i did go to bed in my makeup today i am going to take you on a 24 hour adventure this time tomorrow i will be setting a new world record for indoor rowing with a few friends and i need to be a lightweight over the last few months, I've fluctuated between being a heavy weight, which is 61 and a half kilos and above, and a light weight. And tomorrow, I need to be under 61 and a half kilos. I've got a feeling that I'm still a heavy weight, so let's go and get weighed. Okie dokie. Oh my goodness, I've got all this mascara under my eyes. I would never normally do this, but this is what I'm looking like in my underwear. And I'm feeling fairly lightweight. It's been a mixture of having my wisdom tooth out, which meant that I couldn't eat and also teamed with stress. So I didn't have an appetite. So I think I lost about five kilos a few weeks ago. Let's see what the scales say. 61 and a half I need to be this time tomorrow. Oh, 62.2. This floor can be a bit funny sometimes, so I'm gonna do it in a different position because I can lose half a kilo just by moving the scales. Let's go again. There you go, I've just put on half a kilo. I'm 62.7. Okay, best of three, I reckon. How mad is that? Just remember, people, moving your scales makes you lose or gain weight. Third time lucky. 62.4. Oh, no, 62.2. So tomorrow I need to be lighter than 61 and a half. Either way, I need to lose a kilo in 23 and a half hours. I am going to take you on a 24 hour journey to lose a kilo in a day. I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. I've just tinted my eyebrows so they look all funny. Moaning to my housemate how hungry I am. Do you think if I have a bowl of porridge, it'll make dif a difference to losing a kilo? Do I eat the fruit? Do I eat the peanuts? Do I eat the vegetables? Or do I just eat nothing? Hey, I'm thinking if I shave off all my body hair, I can reduce my weight by about one pound. It's 2 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything. Actually, I'm such a liar, I had a kiwi fruit. So I've eaten a kiwi fruit and I've been drinking water. I'm interested to see if there's any difference on the scales. I am gonna weigh myself dressed. Can't be bothered to get naked again. Let's see. Okie dokie. So excellent. It seems that I've actually put on weight. I'm 63 kilos and tomorrow I need to be 61 and a half or below. Like genuinely worried actually. This thing that I'm doing I have to be 61 and a half kilos. I just had a wee. So I've just been messaged by a professional bodybuilder and he's told me to 
go and get some dandelion tea and some vitamin B6. So I've got half an hour before the shop shut. Let's see if I can get it in the tiniest little village that I live in. Oh my goodness. I'm in the supermarket. Oh, I'm so hungry. I could eat everything. Where's the tea? I need dandelion tea. Tea. Dandelion. I doubt Sainsbury's is going to have dandelion tea. Hello, good afternoon. I'm calling to see if you sell dandelion tea, please. Oh, you don't, you don't stock the dandelion tea. Right. So I went back into the shop because I decided to buy some stuff ready for tomorrow's activity. And so I bought some dates and chia seeds, bananas, sultanas, they are for my energy bars and then I'm going to eat some cucumber, carrots and asparagus. My bodybuilder friend told me that asparagus teamed with my B vitamin will help me lose that kilogram. I've got no idea how it works. I haven't got time to research it but I'm going to steam these and I'm going to eat them because I'm super, super hungry. I definitely need energy for tomorrow. B vitamin, courtesy of Solgar, pint of lemon water. Okay, it is 6 p.m. and I think it's time for an early evening weigh-in. Ooh, here goes. 62. 62 and a half. Hmm. Okay. So I've still got one kilo to go in 14, 14 hours. One kilogram. Hmm. I'm now drinking my detox tea. I'm going to move away from body weight. For a little bit because nothing's happening to it. Tomorrow I am doing an event that could possibly last about six hours and I need to be a certain weight, hence the reason I'm trying to get down to 61 and a half. And I need lots and lots of fuel to keep me going tomorrow, so I want to show you what I've been making and it has been so, so tough not to eat this all because I am so hungry. Right here we've got what's known as Roots Bars, and this is uh, coconut and hemp protein bars. We've got vegetable egg muffins, and then some kind of flatbread going on. That is what I will be fueling on tomorrow. I don't really like taking energy gels. I don't really like taking processed foods, so I've made all of that myself. It's got nuts, dates, raisins, all sorts of goodness in, and think two of those can be found on my website that is such a shameless plug uh, i do plan on writing a blog post on what to eat for an endurance event um, when you are eating a healthy diet like i said i don't like processed stuff you get the massive highs and then you get the crash and then you get the tummy ache but right now i am going to eat this I am meant to be fasting today, but I do need a little bit of energy. Someone told me to eat asparagus, I'm not sure why, and that will help me get my body weight down ready for tomorrow. <laughs> it's 20 past eight and I am off to bed. I've got an early start tomorrow and a very, very important event. Um, I think also I broke my bathroom scale. <laughs> They're not working, so I can't even weigh myself. I'll give them a real good shake. I'll take the battery out and give it a good old rub tomorrow morning. And um, yeah, we'll see what weight I am tomorrow morning. I'm gonna do half a pint of detox tea and then hit the sack and hope that in the morning, I will miraculously wake up one kilo lighter. 
fingers crossed. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. First thing I thought about when I woke up, wonder how much I weigh. And also, I really, really hope that the weighing scales are deciding to work this morning. Underwear again. gym uh, 8am 8, 8, 8 and I've just arrived at the gym I'm going to weigh myself and see if I need to use the sauna so 60 uh, that's, that's almost spot on that is I think it's like yeah. 61.5 but it's waving a bit up to 62 God. not sure it's borderline guys. Need to face the digital scales it's borderline Let's go. basically if I don't hit 60 one and a half and under, I can't take part in the challenge. Some digital scales and... <laughs> that is ridiculous. 61 and a half. These are the scales that we'll be using for the record. So I think probably I need to go and have a sauna. I've just come across a fellow team member. I've never met him before, it's Eric and he's pretty sweaty he still has to lose half a kilogram so you've been on the, on the he's been 15 minutes running on the treadmill and now he's going to go to the sauna so uh, it's not just me that's having these weight loss, loss issues Everybody in the group made their weight and we rode 100 kilometers in 5 hours, 36 minutes, 30 and a half seconds, creating a new world record. I really don't recommend trying to lose weight so quickly. I only did it to create this world record and wasn't doing it for aesthetic reasons. Thank you for watching and tune in again soon.